Hey everyone, it's Megan. I hope you're having a great day. Um, this is going to be the second part of my beauty bargain, beauty recommendations at different pr price point little series. Yesterday I did my beauty bargains under $10 recommendations. Today is going to be my beauty bargains under $5 recommendations. So I don't have as many as yesterday, but um, these are definitely some of my all-time favorite products and they just so happen to be under five dollars which is really awesome so i wanted to share these recommendations with you guys i only have face and eye products today but um yesterday i had a whole slew of different ones so i'll link my under ten dollar recommendations down below and then um hopefully this weekend or sometime in the near future i'll do my beauty splurge recommendations for you guys so let's just get right into it my very like favorite bargain in the drugstore which is amazing is the wet n wild coverall foundation and i have two colors this is fair slash light and this is light so hopefully you can tell the difference between the colors this is the lightest color that they make there is um at least one other color darker than the light shade but um the color range is not very expansive it's very limited and so if you have really fair skin it's hard to find a shade um these are better for me um to mix with um I use the light more in the summer the fair to light I can get away with in the winter or cooler months if I mix it with other things. So um, these are amazing. They have great coverage and great lasting power for a foundation that is $3 full price. And usually you can find Wet n Wild, buy one get one half, 40% off. So these I think I got when they were 40% off. So they were like almost a buck 50. That is crazy. So um, these are amazing. Like I said, the lasting power is awesome. I'm not a person that buys particularly like full coverage products, but these are so great to have in your beauty arsenal and they're so inexpensive and they don't like make me break out, which you might think, oh, they're so cheap. They probably don't have very like good ingredients. I'm not really sure of the ingredients. It says them all on here, but um, I just know that it doesn't react badly with my skin, which is really, really important to me because many foundations, even if they are more expensive, they can irritate my skin, but these don't. I love them so much. Definitely give them a try if you see them on sale and if you can fit into one of their color um, selections. These are just awesome. Great for photography because there's no SPF and I just absolutely love them. Um, a concealer that we can't get in the United States, but I know that I have viewers from all over the world, which is, which is like just the coolest thing ever. But this is definitely under $5, and this is amazing. This is Col Collection 2000's Lasting Perfection Concealer. And I got this from Jen, who lives in the UK. It has a doe foot applicator. This is in um, color uh, two light. I think that I should get also color number one for when I'm especially fair, because I think this can um, look a little too dark on my really pale skin in the winter. But this is amazing. It has great coverage, just like the Wet n Wild, but it, um, it's just like a concealer, so it's more for pinpointing. It's not for all over your face, but it lasts a really long time. It says that it's a 16 hour wear. I'm not sure about that, but it definitely wears really well throughout the day. And um, it has like a, it dries to a matte sort of finish. So I love this. I've used this so many times, but I try to use it sparingly because we can't get it here. But if you live anywhere that sells Collection 2000, this is amazing and definitely a great find for under $5. A face product that I go in and out of remembering that I love and that is so good for three bucks is the e.l.f. HD powder and this is one that I've had for years I'm trying to use it up in my project use it up but it's just a um, white like silicone silica whatever the word is powder that is I've never tried the Makeup Forever HD powder but I've heard that they're basically exactly the same and um, what I use this for especially now is Wayne Goss has a new trick that he posted a while ago on his YouTube page and it's like to set your primer and moisturizer before you put on your foundation and I've been using this powder for that and it does absolute wonders for the longevity of my makeup and that powder is also great to um, top your foundations with it's great for oil control for me in the summer it's just a really great product to have you get a lot in here this is a pretty big jar 
jar and it's only three dollars so even though I'm trying to use it up I will definitely repurchase because I think it's a really good product to have just in case you need a powder or to make your makeup last longer like the Wayne Gosh trick and I'm definitely gonna post that down below because I think it's just a really cool trick that I've never heard anyone suggest before so that's a great product. You can get that at um, Target and some Walgreens have it and of course eyeslipsface.com. And another e.l.f. product that I think is amazing, I love most e.l.f. brushes, but their blush brush from the studio line is just the best in my opinion. So it's flat on both sides, but then it's like sort of tapered and chiseled at the top, which makes my way of applicating blush, which I go like this, I sort of um, slide it in the blush and then just like tap it on my cheeks. This is the perfect brush for that. I've wanted to buy backups, but I think that's kind of like ridiculous to buy a backup $3 brush. But if I were to buy backups of brushes, I would get one of this because it's so nice, it's so soft, it cleans really well, it's um, synthetic. Um, brush hairs and it's just awesome. The shape is what I really like and I just think it's a great blush brush if you like um, precise blush application because um, you can also do it like sort of all over the place but it's easier with this shape to do sort of like a padding motion. So that's been one of my favorites for a really really long time and I thought I would recommend it to you guys. A blush product that I really love and this is um, a recommendation from Flower Bomb 31 and I got this like probably a year ago this is the NYC color wheel mosaic face powder and this is in the color rose glow so they have a bunch of these where it's like a mosaic of different tones but this is my favorite because it gives a really pretty like rosy tan look and it's not like overly pigmented which I appreciate for my fair skin and this is what I really like to reach for when I want sort of a bronzer as blush look I like that look a lot when it gets warmer but I've already been wearing it a little bit so far this year and it's just a really pretty combination of the brown colors and pink. So it's a really great product. This is probably like 2 or $3 depending on where you buy it from. And NYC products really have impressed me. I also like some of their bronzers. And um, they're just really good products for the price. So this is just one that I have especially loved in the past year. Going into eye products, my favorite eye like palette for this price range is the Rimmel London Afternoon Tea Quad. This is their Glam Eyes Quad Eyeshadow. And this I've talked to you guys about so much, not recently, but probably three to six months ago I was talking about it a lot. And what's great is that the top two shades, top and bottom shades, are matte and then the side colors are shimmery so this is an awesome palette if you are a busy working woman or if you just like to have quick looks and quick palettes to use because as you can see they're not like super pigmented but they're really smooth and easy to work with and you can get so many different looks with these because there's a mixture of matte and sort of shimmery satin colors it's really nice to have the different types of finishes on your eye and makes it look really polished you can do really super dark looks you can do really light looks I use that top brown color as liner a lot and it comes with this little um, brush which I like this smaller side because you can get it in there and then use it as liner so this is just a super easy palette to use it's so quick so cheap so amazing. I've given them to people so many times because that's just how much I believe in that palette and I would really recommend it if you like neutral shadows and want something that's like quick and easy, basically foolproof, that is the palette I would steer you towards. A brush that is really inexpensive is actually from Target and I'm not sure if they have this anymore I'm, I really hope that they do because it's amazing it's their crease brush and I just love the shape of it because it is like fluffy but it's like stiff enough see as I'm like pressing down on it it doesn't like give that much so this is great for not only like blending or diffusing out but you can also apply eyeshadow just to the tip of it and really precisely put it on so this is a great brush when I bought it it was like a dollar ninety nine hopefully they still have this it's the up 
and up brand and um, it's near where the fake eyelashes are so that's also something I wanted to mention the Ardell individual lashes I don't have it with me I ran out but they're in a box like this big and it's like a horizontal box it's the Ardell individual lashes they're called like flare short black they are my favorite lashes ever. I know that individual lashes don't get a lot of like recommendation on YouTube or like just in general because people think that applying the um, strip lashes is easier and it might be for them but for me individual lashes is the best way to go because even though it's kind of like annoying to have to do it like a billion times on your eye to like get the effect you want, I think it just looks much more natural and it doesn't like feel like anything on your eye. It just feels like you have pretty lashes on. So um, I really love those individual lashes. It's where the <laughs> the up and up brush is. So if you see both of those, I recommend them both. They get my stamp of approval. Um, I need to buy a new pack of the Ardell individual lashes because I will definitely be needing it for the rest of my senior year because we are going to be partying up in here. But yeah, those are my favorite lashes and they're like $3.99 for a pack. It's really awesome. And then my last recommendation is one that you guys all know I love. It's the Rimmel Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. This is the old packaging. Now it's sort of like a teal, like it's clear, but it has teal words and it says just let it go. So um, this is amazing. I have a whole video showing that this is a dupe for the Bioderma Micellar Solution, which is this. Um, definitely check that out. I'll have that link down below. Um, this is just my favorite eye makeup remover because it doesn't leave a residue. I don't use this as at night, but I do show how you can do that in the demo. But I use this just to make little touch-ups in the morning and it's awesome. It is really inexpensive. It's like $4.99 at Target and Walmart, which is where I always buy it. And um, you just can't go wrong with this. So, now that I talked you guys' ears off, these are all of my under $5 beauty recommendations and please let me know your favorites that are under $5 because these are sort of like the diamonds in the rough at the drugstore which I think is really neat. So definitely share your picks in the comments down below so me and everyone else can benefit from your knowledge. And I hope that you all have had a great Thursday so far and I will see you tomorrow with another video. See you then. Bye!